just to clarify things out, we can try uh, solving for the plastic centroid of this uh, given section or given uh, example problem. Uh, determine the plastic centroid of the section shown in the figure given FC prime is equal to 4K and FY is equal to 60K SI. So, medyo nakaano tayo ngayon. Uh, US customary units tayo ngayon. But it's okay lang naman kasi hindi naman code yung sinasolve natin. Hindi naman codal yung sinasolve natin. And besides, you have to be well-rounded as well sa paggamit no, ng uh, both system of units. Hindi lang kayo dapat sanay lang sa SI units. Dapat sanay din kayo sa US customary units. Because uh, from time to time, you will uh, encounter problems expressed from one unit to the other. Okay. So, ito yung given natin na uh, section. Uh, 20 inches by 14 inches siya. Tapos, meron siyang reinforcements. May apat dito sa kaliwa. Merong dalawa sa kanan. And they are number 9 na reinforcement. So, yung number 9 na yan, most probably, kung marunong kayo mag-compute. Yung, uh, yung mga number ng mga bars sa US customary units, I think na natabanggit ko na yata ito before, pero ulitin ko lang. Yung number ng mga bars sa US customary units, kung gusto mong malaman kung ano yung diameter niya equivalent sa SI, you, you just have to divide it by 8. And then, that will be the equivalent uh, diameter, 8 inches. So, 9 over 8, that will be uh, 1.125 inches. Or, kung gagawin natin siyang uh, SI times 25 mm, or kung gusto mo sakto, times 25.4 uh, mm. So, that will be most probably 28, 28, uh, 28 mm. Okay, so yun yung equivalent niya sa, na diameter sa SI. Okay. So, uh, yung, yung area ng isang number 9 na bar, uh, if I'm not mistaken, mga nasa ano lang dito. Nasa 1 square inches. Let's try to solve for it. 1 over 4 times 1 point. Yeah, mga nasa 0.99. So, yung area... Area ng number 9, if you will be using this diameter, mga nasa 0.99 or 1 square inches na lang. Saktoy na natin 1 square inches. Okay. So, we are just being tasked here to, to solve for the location of the plastic centroid. Okay. So, what we will try to do here to, to solve for the plastic centroid is basically, assume lang natin na yung column natin is being uh, compressed to its limits. So, kung uh, titignan natin yung uh, section ng column natin. Ngayari, ito yung column. Ayan. Spot na lang natin siya dyan. Tapos, meron siyang reinforcements, of course. So, meron siyang uh, reinforcement dito. Tapos, dito rin. Of course, nasa side view lang tayo. Kaya, yan lang yung makikita na. So, just try to imagine kinocompress yung column natin to its limit or to, it, to its limits with the, with the force PF, kunyari na lang PF. Okay. So, in return, in return, si, uh, si column natin, lalaban yan. ba? So, saan manggagaling yung resisting force coming from the column? Manggagaling yung mga resisting forces na yon. una, syempre, sa concrete itself. So, tawagin natin yung force galing sa concrete na FC na lang. So, force coming from the concrete na yun. Yan yung unang resisting force dito sa, kong, sa compressive force na lang. And then, yung other resisting force will be coming from the reinforcements of force. Ito yung uh, force dito sa reinforcement na to. Ito yung force sa uh, reinforcement na to. Sa kaliwa at sa kan. So, yung force sa kaliwa, tawagin na lang natin na FS force sa steel. Pero since most probably magkaiba yung force na ino-offer nung, nung mga reinforcement sa kaliwa compare sa kanan. Kasi yung nga sa kaliwa, apat eh. Sa kanan, dalawa lang. So magkaiba yung force na nag-act So tawagin na lang natin ito na FS1. 
And then yung force offered by the reinforcement sa kanan, FS2 na lang. Okay. So with that, uh, we can uh, we can use this. We can use this uh, uh, dito? force system to find the location of the plastic centroid. Okay. We can we will just use the edge etong edge na to as our reference axis. Tawagin na lang natin yan na AA axis. AA axis. Okay? So from the principles of statics for this uh for this force uh, system to be in equilibrium, dapat pag minoment mo yung resultant nila kasi basically yung resultant natong tatlo will be equal to PN. So dapat pag minultiply, pag kinuha natin yung moment nito with respect to this axis, dapat yung moment noon will be equal to the sum of the moments of FS1, FC, and FS2. Kung naaalala niyo yan, yan yung tinatawag ng Barigot's theorem sa 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 statics. Okay? So that is what we will do here. Doon iikot yung solution natin. Okay, so but before we proceed with the calculation, let's try to compute first. Ano yung mga magnitude ng FC, FS1, tsaka FS2? Para madali na lang yung computation natin. Okay, let's start with FC. FC is a force acting on the concrete. And the maximum uh, force offered by the concrete or maximum stress that we usually limit to be experienced by the concrete is just equal to 0.85 FC prime. Pero force yung kailangan natin. Paano magiging force yung stress na yan? Multiply natin sa area. And what is that area? Area no concrete. That is 14 inches by 20 inches. Okay. So substitute lang natin uh, the value of FC prime. FC prime is just equal to 4 KSI. So I in terms of kips na lang natin, yan. 4 KSI. Uh, KSI stands for kips per square inch. So, ito naka-square inch naman yung lalabas dito. Pag multiply natin sila, so makakansal lang. So, ang lalabas na units dyan will be kips. Okay. So, that what will be that uh, magnitude? 0.85 times 4 times 14 times 20. That is equal to 952 kips. Okay, so that is the force offered by the concrete. Let's uh, try to solve naman yung uh, force offered by the reinforcements at the left, yung apat. Okay, so ano yung maximum stress that can be offered by the reinforcement? According to what I have mentioned a while ago, that is just equal to Fy. So, stress pa lang yan. So, paano siya magiging force? Multiply natin siya sa area. Area ng reinforcement natin. Ang area ng reinforcement natin ay nasa, nasa 1 square inches. 1 square inches. Pero isa pa lang yun. And we have 4 here. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, times 4 pa natin yan. Okay. And then, substitute na lang natin yung mga corresponding values. Fy is 60 KSI. So, okay lang yun na KSI na para cancel na lang yung square inches. And then solve. 60 times 4 na lang. That will be 240 kips. Nakakips na yun. Okay. So, take note again, you have to be well-rounded in both units. But mapa SI man yan or US. So, FS2 naman tayo. Same, same pa rin, same formula pa rin. Fy times the area, which is 1 square inches or 1 square inch. Pero ngayon, dalawa na lang sila. 1, 2. So, times 2 na lang natin siya. And then, yung Fy natin, substitute natin ulit. That will be 60 again. 60 KS. And then, solve. Pagkita na lang natin ng 2 yung kanina. That will be 120 kips. Okay. So, from there, ready na tayo. Ready na tayong mag-compute ng plastic centroid. So, kung tatawagin na lang natin na 
x. So, agin na lang natin na x. Yung location na itong uh, plastic center na ito. Yan. So, agin natin na x yan. So, by Barignon's theorem, by Barignon's we can na uh, easily solve for x. So, pn, solve muna natin yung pn. Uh, by equilibrium, by equilibrium, oops, baba. by equilibrio uh, summation ng forces must be equal to zero. Okay? So, ibig sabihin lang yan, yung Pn, which is downward, must be resisted by the three forces Fs1, Fc, tsaka Fs2. Or in equation, Pn must be equal to Fs1 plus F C plus Fs2. Substituting the values. Check natin yung mga values ng Fs1. Fs1 is 240. Fc is 952. Fs2 nasa 120. So therefore, we can easily solve for Pn. Pn is just equal to 240 plus 120 plus 95. That is equal to 131. 1312 Okay. So with that, we can now solve for uh, plastic central x. Ang equation natin by Barignos will be Pn times x in moment arm resultant must be balanced by the summation of the moments ng FS1, FC, at saka ng FS2. So, let's start with FS1. FS1, ang moment arm niya will be, according dito sa figure, ang location ng centroid nito ay at a distance 2.5 inches. So, lagyan natin dito 2.5 inches. Okay. Plus, moment ni FC naman. So, si FC, obviously, located siya sa centroid ng section. So, kung 20 yung uh, side na to, kalahati niyan will be 10. Tama? 10. 10, uh, 10 inches. Yeah. Okay. So, take note dito tayo ng moment ha, sa leftmost edge. Sa leftmost edge na rin. Plus FS2 times the moment arm. Ano moment arm ng FS2? Uh, si, si FS2 daw, according dito sa figure, kung ito yung centroid ng mga bars, it is located 2.5 inches then. Pero from the right edge. Pero yung kailangan natin na distance is from the left edge. Kasi dito tayo ng moment. So kung 20 yung buo, tapos 2.5 yun, at i- ang moment arm natin will just be 20 minus 2.5 inches. Okay. So, substitute na lang natin yung mga corresponding values. Ang PN natin will be 1, 3, 1, 2. FS1 natin, 240. FC natin, 9, 5, 2. And then, ang uh, FS2, 120. Okay. So, with that, kaya, kaya na natin i-compute yan sa calculate. The region na lang. X will be equal to 240 times 2.5 plus 952 times 10 plus 120 times 20 minus 2.5 divided by 131. So that will be equal to 9.31 inches. Okay. So with that, uh, we can say that the plastic centroid is located 
9.31 inches from the left edge. Okay, as you can see here, ito. So, you, you, can, uh, you can easily see yung centroid ng buong section is located 10 inches from the left kasi 20 yung buo. Eh. 20 tong buo, so yung gitna nyan will be 10 from the left edge. Yun yung centroid ng buong section or ng concrete. Concrete pa lang yan. Ganda yung centroid niya. Pero yung plastic centroid, hindi siya agad-agad ibig sabihin located na rin 10 inches from the left edge. Because as, you, as we have computed here, yung plastic centroid is located 9.31 inches from the left edge. So, yung, yung resultant, yung resultant ng mga forces offered by the concrete as well as the reinforced winds, which is yung PN, will be located at that same location as the plastic centroid na yan. Okay, so dyan, dyan natin usually uh, binibilang yung eccentricity. So, yung eccentricity, hindi talaga siya lagi nakabase sa uh, centroid lang, kundi sa plastic centroid. Okay, Doon natin na, uh, yun yung basis natin ng pag-measure uh, pag ng eccentricity. Palagi siyang from the plastic centroid, not from the centroid alone. Although madalas, later on, you will experience most of the time, yung, uh, yung measurement natin ng eccentricity most of the time, nasa centroid na lang din. Bakit? Kasi nga, most of the time, yung reinforcement natin, symmetrical lang. Like for example, dito, pansinin nyo lang ah, Kung yung reinforcements natin, gawin natin na, sabi natin na apat na lang dito na sa kanan. So, tagdagan natin na, let's to show you. Kung magkakaroon ka ng additional two reinforcements dito, so you can see, symmetrical na yung reinforcements natin. Okay? So, kung symmetrical na yan, yung magiging equation na lang natin will be, uh, uh, almost similar dito sa equation natin. Ang mangyayari lang is that ito, yung FS2 natin, instead of uh, 120, magiging 240 na rin yan. Kasi apat na rin yung ano niya, yung reinforcement niya, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so yung FS2 natin magiging, magiging uh, times 4 na rin ito. So ito, magiging 240. So pag sinold natin yan, with this, uh, with this given data, pwede lang natin ng 240 to. You can easily see that yung x natin will be 10 inches. Let's try to solve it. Yeah, mga nasa 10 inches din. Okay. Uh, Magpapag rin pala ito. Sorry. So, since naging 240 yun, Ito, 1312, madadagdag lang pa siya ng 120. Pagtagal so, uh, na lang natin yan. <coughs> 120 to. We just add 120 dito. Okay. So, yan, sakto. Sakto magiging 10 inches yung uh, location ng plastic centroid. If ganito yung ginawa natin. Ginawa natin symmetrical yung reinforcements natin. Okay, most of the time yan yung mga experience natin dito sa mga uh, problems natin. Most of the time, yung plastic centroid, tsaka yung centroid, yung, se yung section, coinciding na lang. But then again, you have to remember, nangyayari lang yun. If una, pag symmetrical, regular yung shift ng concrete section mo. Tapos, symmetrical din yung uh, reinforcements mo. Katulad dito yung pinawa natin. Pero pag hindi ganun, most probably, hindi parehas yung location ng centroid tsaka ng plastic centroid. Okay. So, ang importance ng plastic centroid is that dyan natin minimeasure yung eccentricity. Okay. Ang, ang eccentricity, hindi palagi sa centroid minimeasure, kundi sa plastic centroid. Okay, yun yung importance ng plastic center. 